All right, now welcome to SC Kimes Custom Designs. Uh, we're picking up on the series of making this stairwell unit here. And I wanted to show you how I'm joining uh, and making the frame. So it was kind of tricky. You may have recall in the first video I said, I'm going to biscuit joint this. <clears throat> I hollow this out to receive the plexiglass, which is over there. Therefore, biscuits aren't going to fit in there. So after some thinking through, I decided I'm going to use screws. Okay, so we did all our math so we know um, how far to go. And uh, so if you have any experience doing this type of thing, you know you have to create cavities. Um, and so that's for the screws. That's what we're doing here. I'm going to go ahead and mount the camera and uh, we're going to point it over at our drill press. And you may recall that we purchased uh, this unit here uh, not too long ago. When I say purchased this unit for my drill press, I went ahead and please look up the series on it. unboxing this, the MLCS drill press table. This is, the, this is the new and improved unit. Okay, so we have that mounted in service now. And uh, we have on here a Forrester bit, uh, which is 3 eighths. I believe it's 3 eighths. Um, uh, 3 eighths or half hits here at the moment. And so here's how cool this unit is. Um, I don't have any hold downs that, that hold the unit against the fence, but it's not a big deal. But at least this guy here is going to provide me as a, a slide like this, hold it in from the bottom. Then we have our stop block, and we already marked off where we did the other ones. And so we just move it up to it. And remember, I recommend, probably can't see it, but there's a foot switch down here. Which allows me to concentrate on what I'm doing. I really like this system a lot. Having done that, I'm going to have to flip you around. We can now come over and connect the pieces. Take it nice and slow. And I hope I don't run out of uh, battery. My, my camera is, is kind of low at this point. So, all right, now let's go down where the work is. There it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and screw this in here. And I think you get the idea, so we're going to screw that in there. And uh, I'm just trying to think if I have enough time to do this with the video. It's just pine, so you have to be really careful not to over tighten or it'll just break like magic there. All right, so let's take these off. And for the very first time, we'll be putting in our plexiglass. Probably gonna have to move the camera so you can see this. Just one moment, please. I don't have <laughs> video editing software that allows me to stop, go, stop, go, stop, go type deal. Um, let's see here. 
Oh, that's not too bad, hey? Let's just move you back just a little bit. Apologize for any shaking. All right. Let's go up a little bit here. And if everything goes well, which oh, I hope it does, I'll be able to slide my plexiglass into the cavities. If you have uh, not looked at my videos, I have 800 plus videos on my channel. And if you see a toll in the wood shop, I probably went over. Certainly if it was brand new, I unboxed it. Love to unbox um, tools, including this bench here that I'm working on. It's by a company called Works. And um, this collapsible bench, it is very, very strong. Um, trying to figure out what it says, WX051. It's the work table. It's a work table, so really good unit, my friends. If you don't have one of those, then you don't know what you're missing. Oh, almost. Almost an upper end. I do have limited space in the wood shop. That's why all my benches are on uh, wheels. Okay, oh, isn't that nice? Sweetness. Plexiglass is still in the uh, in the uh, plastic there. Let me go ahead and take this off so I can get more control. And the plexiglass is not strong stiff wise, so I have to be careful. There it goes. All right. Now let's set it back up with there carefully and this is just the beginning of the project uh, what you're seeing here let me turn that back on get a little bit more light just just the beginning of the project I'm going to be embellishing this um, unit adding on side panels and decorative trim and yada 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 Okay, so in theory, we should be able to slide this right in. Like so, and, uh, and now, I'm gonna get this over top so I can clamp this on to the bench and then square it a little bit. Always want to have big squares around. Squares tell all the stories <laughs> for us, okay? Now I made a mistake where I, uh, I clamped too hard where I made the cavity for the um, to receive the plexiglass and uh, to rectify that I made the cavity too deep so the screw went way too deep in here so what I did is I plugged it with dowels and that pretty much fixed that issue thank god there's always a thing you can do. You'll hear me say that in my videos. There's always a thing you can do to correct a thing. And when something looks like there's no um, answer, just slow down, walk away, and you'll get an idea. So to do this, I'm simply going to take my hammer, which I... Well, of course, misplaced. It's down here. All right. So, hey, while I was at uh, Lowe's today, picking up some really beautiful one by 
one by four by one by twelve by um keep my other glasses. Don't get old. <laughs> no, you can be young enough. Not so good eyes, right? These used to have um, lights and LEDs in the side. And now I broke this up here. The LEDs don't work anymore. I really need to pick up another pair. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to tap. I'm going to find the center in here. Okay. We'll call that the center there and then give it a tap. Just tap it in there and in that way you'll have some assurance that you're going to go straight down the middle there this is the uh the side that i put the dowels in i just put some gorilla glue in there Yeah, that was quite the whoopsies. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Obviously, I wasn't thinking. Now I'm trying not to go too far. Because I'm going to be um, gluing up. Very carefully gluing up these joints here. All right, please uh, go to the beginning of the series so that you can see how, how we started the project. And uh, you can follow all the steps leading up to this. You should definitely have your squares handy so you can make sure things are cool. All right, so this is the piece I need to make sure he's clamped. Uh, yeah, when I was clamping down near the inside where the plexiglass goes in, I heard crack. I knew immediately the error of my way. Okay, I'm going to just repeat that process. I really need a little bit more room. Yeah, you won't even recognize this unit when I'm, as we progress. I love to, um, oops, love to embellish and create along the journey. Look at my COVID-19 desk. Um, creating that just out of my head. Boy, did it come out nice. If I say so myself. <laughs> a lot of pride in my work. Done some awesome, did an awesome table. Oops, I gotta pay attention here. Did an awesome table for a gentleman by the name of um, Lou. And, uh, I made him a uh, beautiful office desk for his office. It came out really, really nice. In much the same way, I uh, he gave me poetic right. He said, just design it. I gave him an idea, you know. I dialogued with him said, you know, let's try to come to some close agreement as to what we're going to come up with. And so we did. All right, that should do it. Let's set it free from the clamps. And it's Sunday evening. I'm a curious software guy in the daytime. Regulatory compliance software.
in at nights and weekends. This is the weekend. We do uh, look at that. Nice. I'm going to lift you up. Apologies. Apologies. I'm going to lift you up and move you back so we can see this thing stood upright. Okay. Sorry about the shaking, folks. I have very high tech equipment here. It's called a tripod <laughs> with uh, with a foam clamp. Oh. All right, here it is. Bam, and it's rough. So please look up the series. Oh, I think we need, we are at around um, four videos in. So they created the cavity for the board. For this frame on the router table, bench top. This is a, a horizontal. No, this is the vertical because we got a horizontal over there in the same company. But I got the jig for the wood press, the drill press. Okay, and I did mention in the beginning that the, the plexiglass is so thin, and I didn't have a uh, bit that was smaller. It was the smallest I had was quarter inch, I think. So uh, it's pretty simple. I'll just take and put a strip inside here um, on one side. I think that's what, that's all I'll do about that. But that's what I mean when you're doing the project. Um, no worries. Just take your time to make mistakes. If you're like me, somewhat of a human being, you're not happy about it. And you. Sometimes lose patience, but oh well. So this is going to go uh, at the top. I think I can turn this on again. This is going to go at the top of as you're coming down the steps on the side. This is uh, obviously they not built the scale, but I just threw the drawing together. Jeez, can you even see what I'm saying? Just uh, threw the drawing together. And uh, to get an idea, so I knew what my measurements were. Now, down here, I have to create a support system, which will be a frame in this design, this shape. I already have these angled cuts. That's one of the first videos I did. Um, and so there will be two units here that will, this is a butt, looks like a butt joint, but it's not. It's going to go at an angle. And so that'll be the next step. We'll be building that. Okay. But in here, and I didn't draw it out, I'm going to uh, make a panel system. So it's going to be beautiful. Just all out of pine, all paneled. Thanks for watching. Um, let's see here. We're trying to keep our videos, if we can, um, between five and ten minutes. So thanks for watching. I'm going to say our usual goodbyes. Again, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. Hit the, um, the bell so that uh, you're notified when I'm doing like the next video in the series, for example. All right. Shalom uvakha. Mastalami. Totsin. Tsaijin. Take care. That's all. Take care out there and stay safe. Wear masks. Thank you.